It was called the water cure. The water cure was a cure-all fad. Swept America and Europe in the 1800s, there were thousands of hotels and sanitariums that had their own natural springs. And they claimed to be good for everything from indigestion to high blood pressure. Jaffrey had a sulfur spring in out on Mountain Road. There was the Unity Springs Hotel in, where else, Unity? East Washington had a water cure hotel. They were everywhere. The idea was that if you drank enough water, you could flush any physical malady out through your kidneys, flushing out the toxins as it was. Well, as it were. Perhaps the most noted and certainly the most remembered water cure hotel in New Hampshire was located in the center of the old town of Hill. This, by the way, is the new town of Hill. The old town of Hill had Dr. William Vale's hospital. Dr. Vale did a regular water cure for his patients. The water, by the way, well, just came from the town water system. Not any special spring. Along with the water cure, the good doctor held analyzing sessions where patients talked away their maladies. Very modern. He also thought much of disease was created in the mind. And in 1861, right at the start of the Civil War, Dr. Vale entertained a person who would become his most important patient ever, Mary Baker Eddy. Mrs. Eddy, you no doubt know, went on to found the Christian Science Church. Most biographers credit Dr. Vale for many of the ideas that Mrs. Eddy propagated in her church. And for this reason, Dr. Vale is generally remembered. Now, I say his hospital was in the old town. That's because in 1941, the village of Hill was condemned by the federal government. This was to make way for the Army Corps of Engineers' Franklin Falls Dam, flood control dam for the Pemigewasset River. Because of the dam, the entire downtown of Hill was raised and its 400 residents forced to move to higher ground and build right here a brand new community. Among the buildings that were torn down, by the way, was Dr. Vale's hospital. By this time, the building had become simply the town's hotel.